How to sharpen edging shears. Why you need to sharpen your edging shears. If neglected, a pair of garden edging shears can become rusted over time and stop working. Also, a blunt pair of edging shears can make gardening a chore and make a simple job, such as edging your garden lawn, take far too long. In this video, we will show you how to restore and sharpen your edging shears in minutes with simple hand tools. Saving your money from buying new ones and allowing you to trim around your garden with ease. What you will need. A hand file, a wire brush, some sandpaper, a rag or cloth, WD-40 or some lubricating oil, protective eyewear and protective gloves. Step 1. Secure the edging shears. First of all, you need to keep your edging shears secure and stable so they will not move around. There are many ways to do this. You can lie them on a table or a bench. You can lean them against a table or a bench. Or you can place them in a vise. Step 2. Clean up the rust. All you need to do now is get a wire brush or sandpaper and use it to clean up the blades removing the rust. Stay away from the cutting edge and just remove as much rust as you need to make the mechanism close and open smoothly. Step 3. Sharpen the blade with the hand file. Using a hand tool such as a file is much safer than any machine or power tool and almost all households are likely to have some hand tools lying around. What part of the blade needs sharpening? On these edging shears you only need to sharpen one of the blades. The cutting edge that needs sharpening is shown in this picture. There is no need to sharpen the other blade. Sharpen the edge here keeping the same angle as before with the file. As a result of filing at an angle, you get what is called a burr on the other side of the blade. This is a rough edge of metal folded over. Carefully feel for this as this needs to be removed. On the other side of the blade, the flat side, you need to get your hand file and remove this burr. You need to keep the file flat as you take off the burr. It only takes one or two strokes to do this. Step 4. Apply some lubricant. Now you need to apply some oil or WD-40 between the blades and also on the hinge so it opens and closes smoothly and stays working efficiently for a long time. Then remove any excess with a rag. So you do not have to do this sharpening process too often. It is a good idea to maintain this lubricating regularly to keep the blades working well and protected, preventing them from rusting. After using the garden, it is a good practice to apply some oil to keep the blades protected.